Uh, Thank your you. husband wrote that, Jake yes. Hooker. Yes. Did you do that at uh, Studio One? Yes, I do. I open with that uh, number in the show, but I do that in yeah. every place I work. Well, I just closed that uh, Studio One, the back lot. You know, it was it was fun because you pointed out that this was like old home week for you. That your mother's show came from right here. It, Tell us what it was like then. <laughs> well, um, when you got off the elevator on this floor, there was a huge, huge yellow brick road that met you right at the elevator, <laughs> and it wound all the way down the hall. Then there was a huge trailer that they had made look like a little house. Mm. And had a little garden and grass and something that said Kansas or something like that. And yes. It was really fabulous. And then as you walked out, you got onto the other side of the yellow brick road and it went right into the studio. That's great. They did, did that just to make her feel comfortable and nice, They did right? that as a surprise. For her? For her. Mm -hmm. I wonder if anybody's listening upstairs around here. Maybe they'll <laughs> have some surprises. Did you hang out around here then when you were oh, a kid? Oh, sure. Yeah I, I, yeah, I did. Were you a menace? Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Where? yes. Oh, to the makeup people and running in and asking if I could borrow things and hairbrushes and, oh, you know, things that little kids always do, drive you nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier in the show, we were talking about single parents. Who do you think uh, raised you the most, your dad or your mom? Uh, Who's both of them. Equally. Both of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one thing that I'm uh, real thankful for is that they had a wonderful they had a, a good relationship when it was over, so one didn't turn me against the other. And right. I find that real yeah. important that you don't, you know, feel that I hate this one and I like this one and I, you know, yeah. I think that's sort of sad when that happens. Oh, it sure is. We we mentioned also earlier in the show the, the auction, which I understand is it would be difficult for you to talk mm. and probably rather rather not no, I don't want to rather not deal with that. Thank you. How do you how do you arrive at this positive point of view that you have? towards life how did you develop that i don't i don't think i really developed it i think it was just me it just that that's how i am i'm a real positive person uh my mother was that way and so maybe i inherited it from her but uh i don't think i just think that if you start thinking negatively about anything and especially about yourself that uh, people are going to start being negative right. to you. How do you feel about the image of, of Hollywood Hollywood kids? You don't seem to have that too much. You you don't want anybody to feel sorry for the way you grew up. You like the way you grew up. Believe that they. Oh, my goodness! I wish everybody had grown up like I did. It was a party. You had a good it time. It was fabulous. Yeah. It was so wonderful, and we had a a magnificent um, house and a magnificent family, and it was it was wonderful, and I had a, a beautiful time. Uh, growing up, so it's not poor little mm. kid, you know. Uh, but um, I guess because I, I left uh, Los Angeles a long time ago uh, to go live in Europe, and now I live in New York. Why do you think you chose then? If it was such, why did you chose to leave? Why did you choose to leave? If it was such a, a hot time here, I chose to leave. <laughs> uh, I guess because once you're born in a city and you been raised there most of your life you want to get away and see what other places are like mm. and uh, i did that how did your mother deal with the, the fact that you wanted to go into show business which i understand you always wanted to do right well i did i thought about being a nurse for about 20 minutes uh -huh. i was going to be a school teacher for about 20 minutes right no it doesn't work does it <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough job school teacher oh mm. are you kidding i would oh no no um I, I told my mother uh, that I wanted to go into show business, and at first she was a little bit reprehensive, and then she was behind me 100%, especially about studying yes. um, your craft and working at it. Uh, she was not that tough on us when it came to mathematics and all that, because she knew that she had not a chance <laughs> in the world of us, you know, sitting down and doing algebra you know, because we would run out and want to go to auditions and things. So she was very strict with us about studying. If you're, she said, you say, if you're serious, then go to school and learn. Right. Now, speaking about learning and going to school, you went to school with our own Tony Berg. Yes. Out here, which I think is, re is remarkable. But was high school a lot of fun for you? Was that a neat experience? Which one? 
Uh-huh. <laughs> I went to Come on, a let's lot go. Of, <laughs> I went to a lot of high school. Be, because you were moving or because you didn't enjoy them? We were always on the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was one thing that I found uh, a lot of fun. Because I used to... Now don't, now, don't take this the wrong way, but I used to go to school and know that I didn't have to stay there very long. Because so, yeah. I knew that we were going to move. We were going to go on to, you know, my, my mother was doing a concert here, so we'd go to school for a week. So if I didn't like the kids, it didn't really matter to me because I knew that I wasn't going to stay there very long. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Does it ever bother you, did it bother you or does it now bother you, that people know so much about your family? No. You know, you feel you got the same clean slate to start with everybody else did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Um... The one thing is that when people come to me and say, oh, I know what happened, and I will say, wait, I'll tell you what yeah. happened, and but I won't ever say, no, that, you know, I'll straighten it out for them. So I guess I, might, I feel that I do have the upper hand. Mm -hmm. So I can say, no, it happened this way. Right. And you have a great deal of admiration for your family. So it doesn't, it doesn't bother you? Do comparisons bother you? Yes. So comparisons bother me just because I don't find them extremely intelligent. Right. Um, I don't think you can compare anyone with anyone else because we're all individuals and I think we should all be treated that way no matter who your mother, father, brother, right. aunts, uncles or anything is because when it comes down to it nobody cares anyway Right. because it's, right. your, you, it's you but it is unavoidable un unfortunately I think people why? Feel, I don't know but it, it happens why? To, but what if I came up to you and said you know something you remind me so much all the time of your parents. It would drive me crazy, and that's why I'm asking you, but it, it must. Why would it drive you crazy? Because I am one, I'm, I'm me here, I don't want to be compared with my, with my parents, but there are some great aspects of my family that I would love to be compared with, but there are some negatives too. I don't, I want everybody to see me as me, and I would think that you would need and demand that too, would you? No, um, I don't demand it, and uh, I, I don't like being compared, but I know that it's inevitable. And um, I just, you know, I just know that when I'm on stage and when I'm working, I hope people like me for me. And if they don't like me, they don't like me for me. But they like you. Yep. <laughs> and we I sure guess. did today. That was a beautiful, beautiful song. Very, very happy you were with us. Lorna Luff, ladies and gentlemen.